Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric is a game that is known to most people as the worst Sonic game ever created. But is it really? Is it really? I mean really is it? Well to find out, we'll have to get a bit deeper than that. Well to start off, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric is not a Sonic game. It's really literally not a Sonic game. It's a game meant to advertise the TV show Sonic Boom on Cartoon Network that came along with the game. Well yeah, you can go argue now that Sonic Boom Rise of Lurk has a completely different storyline from the cartoon series. Well, what about you go and try to make a game that has 52 episode storylines that is the same as Sonic Boom cartoon that will spoil everything because the game came out before the cartoon and the storyline will just spoil the entire cartoon series. Silent much? Pretty much almost the same thing goes for a 6. It was its own thing, it wasn't going to be anything else like in the mainstream Sonic games. You know, it just pities me on how smart Sonic fans actually hate Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom just because of what they're worth in general. But really, but really, just don't do that. Just, yeah. There are already a slew of internet memes of Sonic Boom Rise of Lurk on the internet <clears throat> that shows people how bad Sonic Boom is, but it's not really that bad. I mean, my reaction to that, you can go talk to my hand. I'm also sick of people telling me that Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric has a dumb ass soundtrack. But it's not. It's really not. It has greatly orchestrated music that goes along with the game itself. I mean, just imagine Cross 40 or Cash Cash in the background of this thing. It wouldn't work, people. As so unbelievably many people hate Sonic 06, nobody can resist its soundtrack. But in gameplay wise only, same goes for Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric certainly has one of the better gameplay mechanics in a fighting game, unlike <clears throat> some games I know. And really, I don't find a problem of Sonic trying to be like Ratchet and Clank. I swear now, with all of my heart, that everybody is going to bash on Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, no matter how good it's gonna be. By the looks of it, people are already wondering why it looks so much as Shadow Crystal. But that's for another time. And also when the new Sonic Boom does get bashed, everybody's gonna find Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric a very fun game, underrated and just unappreciated. And it always works like that. Like seriously, always. For example, when Sonic Unleashed came out, lots of people actually went back to Sonic 06 and found that game a bit underrated. But today, people, some people just plain hate Sonic 06 still, for no apparent reason. But Sonic 06 gameplay wise, I can honestly still see why fans still bash the game because of its gameplay mechanics. But the music is too much to make up for it. Anyway, back to Sonic Boom. Another thing that I find the fans to be too much overreacted of Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric is because they think Sonic is slow. Personally, I agree. But that doesn't make Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric a bad game, no it doesn't. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric has some reasonable combat with great graphics and pretty good music for what it's worth. If you have seen my Sonic Boom review and my Sonic 06 review, then you would have seen my score for both games weren't bad by any means, but weren't perfect also. 06 got a 5.5 .5 out of 10, which I like to raise to 6.0 by the way. And Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric got a 6.5 out of 10. Personally, that isn't a bad game. Despite how much bad Sonic games have really have been reviewed, such as Sonic Drift, Sonic Drift 2, and Sonic Genesis for the GBA. Oh my gosh, I hate that port. It really, it's both games aren't that bad, especially Sonic Boom. I think it's safe to say that most of the fans actually like Sonic Dash 2 Sonic Boom more than the actual console and handheld Sonic Boom games. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a pretty damn cool Sonic Dash game. But all it is, is Sonic Dash. At least Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric tried to be its own thing, like 06, but it failed miserably. I'm getting really sorry for Sega for experimenting on new games because the fans keep bashing on the experiments. Anyway, whatever I said in this video, it doesn't really matter to some of the fans. They'll still make pointless arguments like this and that and this and that about Sonic Boom. And a little bit of Sonic 06. But I couldn't care any less. 
Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric and Sonic Boom Shadow Crystal is not a bad Sonic game and is far, far from the worst Sonic games of all time made. And whoever says so must open their eyes and look more deeply into Sonic games. Please, just do that. Anyway guys, that was me, Brandon L. Peace out.